In this video, I will show you how to add text to your script. Um, again, with this one, I am using the workspace view of standard and also looking at it as a compact script view. Um, being in the standard workplace view, and we have these tabs again, and in terms of doing text, what I mean by that um, is we can have text for, you know, announcing what the sermon title is, um, doing any type of um, liturgy thing such as a, a prayer that people are supposed to recite um, or creeds or anything of that nature. Um, so to be able to add a add the text in here. Um, you can, I mean, first you go to the text tab. Um, you can choose your template here, which I've created one that's just called a standard black, and apply that. And again, we can change this too as we go along. Um, and here, basically, we just want to type in what we want this text to be. Um, so in this instance, you know, sermon, and it can be by... We'll just type Aaron's name in here. And then we can format this, you know, whatever kind of font that we want that's, you know, on the computer, what size that we want, if we want it bolded, um, we want his name italicized, um, any of those type of features. Um, these lines here actually control what would be your margins of the slide. So I've moved them almost to the outer edge um, all the way around so that I can use as much space as possible. Um, now here, similar to what the song slide is, is say if you have multiple slides um, for a prayer or say, you know, Aaron had sermon points that he wanted up. Um, so we'll say, you know, this is slide one and right now it shows that this is page one. Uh, what we want to do next is click this insert button which is similar to the song um, when we're editing a song and do a we could do a page break or do a new page um, so I'm actually going to do a new page so you'll see here page one was sermon with Aaron's name on it and then page two we'll just say um, we'll just say the first slide he's talking about God and then we'll insert another new page. And this one will be about Jesus. And then lastly, the last page will be about the Holy Spirit. So now we have all of these, which um, once we have all of these in here, we click this play button here that says text options. And we'll copy this queue, being this queue, being all of the pages here, to our script here in the middle. So copy queue to script. And then you'll see that it's titled Sermon. And then we can rename this Sermon Slides. And then if we click the drop down arrow, you'll see that all four of these pages correspond over here. Um, now you can rename. Um, each one of these, what would says page one, page two, so that's up to you. But at least you have, you know how to insert text in here. Um, other things you can do is if you want this formatted differently, is to right click on this text queue and go down to edit queue. And just like it was in with the song. We have the same options to edit the text. So if we click on foreground, this is where we edit the text of the slides in case we, you know, messed up. Okay, so the foreground would be the text on each slide. So if you made a misspelling, you could do it like you did lyrics of a song. Choose which page and then go in here and edit. Now we can go to the background. And here we can change the color like we did for a song. 
or add any type of picture or video that we want to go behind the text on this slide. Um, the other buttons here really don't apply. So once you've got everything set, say we made an adjustment or we added something or changed something, we can click apply here and then OK. And then now our text slides are now complete and ready for use.